I'm for quite sure, for sure. I'm quite curious where where do you see bonds? You know, yeah. uh, like do you guys get like uh, any kind of broad based you know bond exposure or where is the focus in terms of the bond market yeah. for you guys? I love that question, Reggie, because bonds get so little love even in the best of times. They are <laughs> they are they are great uh, uh, investment tool because they give you portfolio insurance, right? Like. If, if your net worth is all tied up in equities, then your net worth will be very, very volatile. But if you have some bonds thrown in, um, I, I, I think you would do very well for your long-term investing um, needs. So coming back to, to bonds, I, I think firstly, we focus on, um, on government bonds, especially the shorter uh, tenure bonds. Um, technically, there'll be bills or notes already because they're less than a year. And then the longest tenure we're seeing uh, have some attractive yields, uh, one to three year bills. So um, we like that because I'm sure you guys haven't forgotten the inverted yield curve, right? You know, before all this coronavirus became the rage, people were very worried about where the yield curve were. We are, we're not, it's not inverted anymore, but it is indeed flat. So you're basically getting the same yield for shorter tenure. So we are in shorter tenure uh, um, government, US government bonds right now. And also we are into international corporate bonds because... Uh, U.S. long-term bonds are basically close to zero by now. So uh, international corporate bonds and also international uh, uh, developed market bonds are, are definitely there. So in terms of capital gains, uh, I think they're holding their value. I think they're up like 2% because people are, uh, there's some fight to safety. Um, but naturally, yields will go down because they are they're more popular in this point in time. So the principal goes up and the yields go down. Um, I would also say that um, inflation-linked bonds get very little love because um, people don't know what they are, don't know how to get them, but like we have some ETFs that have that exposure. So with inflation not being concerned per se, but, but um, you know, uh, it definitely holds its value. And, and if we do go into a inflationary recovery, you definitely want some, some inflationary protection there. Yeah. Oh, can, can I ask more question? Yes. Of course, so of course. I, I think when it, when it comes to government bonds, right, I think everybody yeah. kind of agree that it is like as good as a safe haven. Uh, as long as the government doesn't go insolvent, they can pay back. I think that is cool. But like what yeah. you said, you know, we observe that government bonds are at zero or in negative territory. In fact, yeah. all, the, all the major governments, uh, apart from China, you know, which is still giving about 4.4% flat rate on their... On their uh, kind of interest rates you know um everyone else is like zero or negative right yeah. so when 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 you say uh like you guys are getting exposure in terms of corporate bonds right which mm. is very exciting at this point in time i get it but does mm. it then does it then lose its essence of being a safe haven does it does it mm. then lose its essence of bonds being that protective mechanism because you're yeah. taking on risk in the corporate bond market right yeah, yeah yeah so it really depends on what grade you're looking at right so um, and, and that's why a, a, a corporate bond uh, ETF is a really good way to get exposure because um, if, you, if you get single names, you know, I'd be very worried about certain types of corporates, you know, no need to say the, the airlines, right? No need to say things like um, that are the oil and, ga oil and gas, right? right? Those bonds. That's why if, um, if, uh, if we, when we invest, we use ETFs and because they are a basket of securities, if any one of them go down, they, they get um, they get smoothened out by those who, who still do well. Um, I think we are definitely not into the corporate bonds for, for capital gains. We're still in it for for, um, for protection and also the, a bit of the yield. Um, and it's still in the investment grade, right? So we have, we haven't even gone down to like anything past anything in the B. So I think it's all still in the double A and triple A's. Hey, this is CS for More Money Malaysia. We are a platform dedicated to helping Malaysians like you make smart financial decisions. Um, and the way we do that is through providing you with actionable advice, such as the video you just saw, right? And, but we're not here just to become your uh, intellectual entertainment. We really do want to see you succeed um, because we want to see you live that ultimate life that you've always dreamt of, right? And in order for us to do that, what we've decided to do is we want to help um, make it easier for you by providing different types of rewards throughout the months. So make sure you check out the description below, click on that link and see what type of reward you might be able to qualify for by taking action right now. And if you have any other questions about any of this, feel free to contact us wherever you find us. Take care.